Morning guys, how you guys doing? Saturday morning, here we go, let's get started. November 22nd, second installment, right? All right, so uh, title today, Standing with Others. I was reading through the scripture in Ecclesiastes 4, 9, 10. Two are better than one, but they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, one will lift up his companion. But woe to him who is alone when he falls, for he has no one to help him. Guys, I just want to tell you guys I really appreciate what our group does, what our group has done for Lindsay and myself, uh, but also what we continually do as a group for everybody else in here, regardless of who they are. Uh, it's said in here that God has designed the, for people to cooperate. Now, if you break that word into two different pieces, co kind of means together or with and operate, obviously, work, live, function, any of those kind of things like that. So as our group, we are cooperating with each other <clears throat> through good times and in bad. And, and the thing I want to talk about, which struck me very hard today, was the crisis situations. You guys know that Lindsay and I have been dealing with some things for a while, and you guys were there to help us out. And recently we've been, you know, enlightened and a couple of other people in our group who have been struggling with some things. So it says in times of crisis, first thing you need to do is you need to be walking in fellowship with other Christians. Those other Christians are going to help you find strength and comfort and encouragement. But also, their consistent testimonies are going to steer you away from any temptations that you might come across. So guys, us continually talking to each other, loving each other, spending time with each other, excuse me, is huge. Um, but the last thing you need to know is that if you ever try and do this alone, you will be overwhelmed. That's for sure. So make sure that if anything comes up, guys, let us know. Um, I know most of us are, but be willing to work with others to do God's work. Um, and also think about, are you being that source of encouragement and comfort to other people? So guys, thank you so much from Lindsay and myself. And let's continue to be this amazing group that we've started, guys. Have a blessed day. Love you guys. Hopefully see you soon. Talk to you later. Bye.